Now streaming on Star on Disney Plus here in the UK and on Hulu in the United States, a sun-drenched raunchy comedy, which is just my type. Thanks to the team over at Disney Plus UK, this is my review of Vacation Friends. Straight-laced couple Marcus and Emily are befriended by the wild, thrill-seeking partiers Ron and Kyla at a resort in Mexico. Living in the moment, the usually level-headed couple lets loose to enjoy a weekend of uninhibited fun and debauchery with their new vacation friends. But months after this quick walk on the wild side, Marcus and Emily are surprised when Ron and Kayla show up uninvited to their wedding, causing all sorts of chaos. Now once more thank you so much to the team over at Disney Plus UK for allowing me a screener at this film. I had a really fun time with it but I want to know your thoughts. If you're excited for this film, if you love raunchy comedies, throw all your favorites down there in the comments below. Start the conversation. It is always the most important part and while you're down there if this was the first video that you clicked on for me, First of all, thank you so much for clicking on this video, it means a lot to me. Why don't you consider clicking the subscribe button if you like this type of content, it does wonders to get it out there and bring in more people to this beautiful film fan community that we have here. The chemistry between our four leads is sensational. The film does such a great job at establishing characters so well that you notice immediately the extremes right on the first sequence of the film. And it is wild, this is a very rated our film that goes nuts with its jokes and puns and even certain moments of slapstick that really work. And speaking of slapstick, Ron and Kayla, played by John Cena and Meredith Hagner, are basically rated R cartoon characters come to life. John Cena constantly has this coked up wild hair that looks like he has sniffing coke every bit of the shooting of the film before every take, and he is awesome. I love John Cena in comedies. He's always been one of the funniest men in wrestling when it comes to the mic. I know that may be an unpopular opinion, but hey. It's true. And he is awesome in this. Not only is he great, the jokes written for him are great, but the way he delivers it. He has an incredible sense of timing. The film, a lot of times, has a good sense of timing, but we'll get to the other times in a bit. On a character standpoint, I was constantly surprised by how good a job the film was doing. You take Lil Rel and John Cena and you look at those characters and the film does such a great job at defining them, what they like, what they don't like, their insecurities, what makes them click. You understand why these people like one another, but also when the time comes for them to diverge from one another, be mad, be sad, disappointed, you also understand that. You see all sides of these people and that was really the most surprising thing from the film to me. And of course, this is a rated R comedy. It earns that R. The jokes are really dirty sometimes. They involve sex, they involve drugs, they involve swear words. This is my type of comedy and when it works, I am a very happy movie watcher. The film structurally can be very predictable. From the moment the film starts, you know what these two couples are going to go through in terms of character beats, in terms of story beats. You can just tell what's going to happen to each of them, what they're going to do one another, what they're going to say to one another. But these beats are nevertheless done effectively. The friendship and the chemistry between all of them really elevates the material that sometimes is not the best. It comes from a really good starting point and then sometimes it delves into dullness. The director Clay Tarver has directed a lot of short form TV like half hour shows, 20 minute shows and so you can tell he's not very much used to a long form of storytelling like a 90 minute film or in this case an hour and 45 minute film and so the pacing sometimes dwindles a bit it doesn't constantly have that sense of kinetic energy and the chaos that sometimes is ensuing with our characters also there are constantly moments where certain jokes that might look good in the script and as they come out they would be funny jokes but the timing is not really well done in terms of the direction. It's not well done on screen. For instance, there's this one moment where everyone jumps off of this one cliff into the ocean and Lil Rel is very afraid of this, is not gonna do it. You know he's gonna do it, you just wanna see how he built that 
And it's literally just a sip of alcohol that he takes and boom, he's down there. And so those types of jokes don't really hit in the way they're executed. The reasons to see Vacation Friends are to see dirty jokes and witness the kinetic, frantic energy, chemistry and genuine friendship that emerges between these people. When it's dedicating itself to a big build up to some really good jokes and comedic situations, it works. It's the story that really has its dull moments and it's not that effective on the long run. But you remember the moments you are supposed to remember, so in that way, it did its job. I'm giving Vacation Friends a C+. And so those are my thoughts on Vacation Friends. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. If you've seen it, if you're excited for it, it's now streaming on Star on Disney Plus here in the UK and on Hulu in the United States. So I hope you watch it. I hope you enjoy it. And thank you so much once more to the team of Disney Plus UK for allowing me a chance to see it. I cannot wait to start the conversation with you down there. And of course, if you've watched this far, consider clicking that button if you haven't yet, because if you've seen this far, you enjoyed it on some level. Thank you so much for watching once more. I'll see you very soon with more videos, and until then, love each other, and love the movies.